Hey guys, I am here with a Walmart haul and it is super hot. Um, we went to eat at a Mexican restaurant and it was hot in there. I don't know that the air or something wasn't working or maybe it was because it was just so hot. So after we ate, we went to uh, Walmart and wasn't even cooler in there either. But anyway, so I'm here with a Walmart haul and I'm gonna show you what I got. So let's see here we've got. Okay, so the first thing that I have is this little glass container and I think this was like $8.97. Um, got that. And I got, um, Thrifty Tiffany had hauled um, some of these Unreal Dark Chocolate Coconut Bars and she said they were really good. Uh, they also had like a Reese cup and it was like dark chocolate and they had like several others. Um, I think white almonds, white chocolate almonds and um, they had cashews and something else. But anyways, I got this one instead for right now. This is the Unreal Dark Chocolate Coconut Bars and there's um, eight in here, 70 calories and it doesn't look that bad. So... It's like a healthier version of eating like regular, like a candy bar or something. So I got that. I got these for work to take for a snack for work. Um, let's see guys. They have a couple of new candles in. Well, I don't know how long they've had them. I haven't been looking at their candles for a while, but when I went, they had some new ones. And so I got this one here. This is Porch Swing. Um, it's got bergamot, rose, and vetiver. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. You can smell cedar. Like, I smell cedar in it. And it just smells so good. And by the way, I look a hot mess. I had to work today, and I worked all week, and I'm hot. It's been so hot outside. Like, extremely so hot whenever we were working in it. Like, we had to take breaks because it was just so hot outside. So, yeah, I'm looking a mess. And then I got this Coastal Coconut Limited Edition. Um, I think these are, like, dupes for Bath & Body Works, if it's the same ones um, that they had a while back, like, years ago. Kind of some, somewhere similar to them, I guess. But, oh, my gosh. This one, guys. When, okay, so when I smelled this, y'all... So, growing up, whenever I was, like, in my teenage years, I would um, lay in the tanning bed. And I had this um, tanning lotion, and it was called um, Australian Gold something another. And it had bronzer in it and hemp or something else. But this reminds me of that. Like, as soon as I smelled that, it took me back to those days when I was a teenager, carefree, no worries in the world. Um, getting my tan on and we had those little stickers that you would put on that would show like your tan level but oh my gosh I so cannot wait to, to burn this y'all and it's a three wick so I will let you know how these smell when you burn them um I also got this cashmere mahogany this has got wood amber and vanilla it seems like this year and correct me if I'm wrong. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like fall. It seems like this year they have been getting, like, leaning more toward fall scents. Like, they've already got, like, a bunch of fall scents. And even in the, like, spring they had them. But they had cinnamon and several other fall scented candles. But I thought that was kind of weird. Even with the coffees this year, they've done that early. And, yeah, I feel for the, the coffee. I've already got some fall coffees. And I've already drunk them. Oh my, oh, this smells smoky, um, it just smells very cozy, you can smell the mahogany in it, and it just smells so good, I want to get the candle in this too, but I'm probably going to save this for fall, because it smells, oh my gosh, it smells so good, it reminds me of fall, so I'm going to probably save that for fall, and then this one here is sugared berries, it's got blackberry, blueberry, and cranberry in it. Oh my, and the combination of these three kind of smells citrusy. It's weird. 
but it smells so good they just go together so well so and and these were just a dollar a piece and i think this was 3.98 and i don't know how much this was the candle i think it was like 5.98 or i got the ticket here let me look real quick folks um it was 5.62 for the candle and then the other one was 3.96 so that ain't that bad of a deal and then I got Opie some of these um, dog treats. These are the canine carryouts, the sausages, um, snow, sones. It's beef and cheese flavor. It's these big old long stick things. I bought her a, a big old bag from Tractor Supply. She still has tons of those. But every time I come from the store, she thinks she's got to have a treat because she's spoiled like that, y'all. So I don't know. She may be picky on these. She may not even eat them. I don't know. So there's those. And this morning I woke up, Lord, I didn't put one drop of makeup on. I woke up, I was tired. And you know how you hit the snooze button? And I'm the world's worst at um, hitting the daggum snooze button. So I kept hitting it, kept hitting it, kept hitting it. Next thing I know, I was like, oh crap. So I literally had 20 minutes to get ready and out the door. So I had my coffee ready, got my crap on. And out the door I went. So, this is what you get, y'all. Um, I'm going to drink some more of this because I'm hot. I was wanting unsweet tea, but they didn't have it at the thing at Walmart when you check out. Let's see. What do we have here? I don't know what this is. Oh, and so I got Opal some of this high-protein um, Purina Moist and Meaty. It's the with real chicken and beef. It's got 34 grams of protein, and um, there's 12 in here. So, this stuff's kind of pricey, y'all. Stuff's went up crazy. Um, I don't know. I think those were, let me see. Let me see how much those were. Okay. Those were seven seventy two. So I got her those. She has this other dog food that's really expensive, like two different kinds, and the kid won't eat it. Like she, I've got her round, and I'll tell you why. So I had went and got her some of that wet dog food, and ever since she ate that, she don't want to eat nothing else but the wet dog food and the moist dog foods. So, I'm trying to get her back on the, the dry dog food, but she's being all kinds of snobbish with it. But it's okay. <clears throat> it's what she likes. Um, Y'all, this is another thing. Like, what I was telling you is about fall, like fall flavors and fall stuff coming out early. Um, this is the toasted marshmallow mocha, and it's the by Green Mountain. This was on sale for like 12 bucks. What is up with that? Why is it doing that? This was on sale for like 12 bucks. And there's 24 in here, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. You can't go wrong with that. I want to get some of that. Um, I was going to get stocked up on some creamer, but my Walmart never has creamer. So I have to either go to Food City or um, Kroger. That's where I'm going to go get my creamer because Kroger always have the coconut one. And they also have a cinnamon one. This would be great paired with cinnamon cream, y'all. So, I got this. Whew. And then, um, my hair has been so dry. I've been using that, um, that main, uh, main shampoo, the horse shampoo that I've like, done a review on. And it's just not cutting it. It's supposed to have a lot of moisturizer and stuff in it, but no. And it's supposed to have, like, coconut stuff in it no so and and i have other um hair products but i just needed something with you know um con to condition my hair with and, and these ones work pretty good this is the um garnier whole blend smoothing shampoo it's got coconut oil and cocoa butter extract smooths it smooths and controls frizzy hair um so this works pretty good. And it smells good, y'all. Like 
it smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells just like shea butter. Okay. There's that. I have got to get home. I'm burning up so bad. I got some drinks. I got uh, some Dr. Pepper. I got Dr. Pepper. And these, y'all, if y'all haven't tried the Zero Sugar um, Sunkissed drinks, these are so good. Um, I tried a big one one day. I just bought it to see what it tasted like. And they're so good. So, got the orange. Um, zero Sugar. And then I got a thing of just Dr. Pepper, regular Dr. Pepper. I don't drink that, but the kids will. I don't do regular drinks. They're just way too sweet. Um, and then I got these. I've been looking for these, and I like at my Walmart, they've not had them forever. But it's the Diet Georgia Peach um, Lipton Teas. And then I got... How much was this? The, um, this dog food for 12 of them was $16.98 for these. So, like I said, she's very picky. And so I got her this high protein. Um, it's got beef and Boston flavor, chicken and duck flavor. So I got her those. And what I'll do is I'll take one of these and then I'll take some of that other dog food and mix it in there together and she'll eat it like that. Yeah, she's full. And then y'all, OMG, I was, I have been ready to get this and my Walmart just finally got it. Y'all know how much I loved some Dolly Parton? Holla. So look what I found. This was a little bit pricey, but you know what? We only live once and I wanted this perfume and I got the perfume. Uh, I work hard for my money. So you know what? I deserve it. So the perfume, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it was $39.97. Um, I spent quite a bit at Walmart, y'all. Um, but look at this. Dolly scent from above and it's 1.7 ounces. Um, it doesn't have no description on here, but honey, look, look how cute. There's a butterfly on it and look at the packaging. She is such a beaut. Like I love her so much. So I'm super excited about this. Holla. And then Justice got some um, of these lights that you put in your room. He's going to put it by his computer tab thing. Um, and those were like 20 bucks a piece. He got two of them. So Anywho, y'all, that is my Walmart haul. And let me show you where I'm um, hauling this at. Whoopsies. Yeah, I'm holding my phone up with this. But um, let me show you. So I just pulled in right here at this old little church. Isn't that cute? I love it. I've Sometimes I've come here and just sat before and just, you know, chilled out. There's an old graveyard. I haven't sat here for a while, but it's out of the heat. And I didn't want to do a haul at Walmart because it's just wide open in the heat. So, I just pulled in right here and done it right here. But, anyways, guys, I'm going to bounce up off of here. Hope everybody's doing good. And I will probably do a review on this perfume. Y'all, I can't wait. I cannot wait to try this. It's so great. So great. Um, and I hope it smells real good. Somebody said that it smells real sweet and like, um, kind of like cotton candy smelling. I don't know. Everybody's scent throws off different. So when I wear it, I will let you know. I'll do a review on it. Um, but anyways, guys, until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.